Hello everyone, as you can tell by the title, today is my birthday! Rosie, how old is mummy? How old is mummy? She was really grumpy because I usually walk her first thing and I haven't because we're going to go out in a bit. And she's like, why have we not gone out yet? I am 29, it's my luck. <coughs> Excuse you. Rosie! I'm officially 29 now. It is my last year of my 20s, which is bonkers. And I thought I would film a video just of the food that I'm gonna eat, because this isn't the best food ever on your birthday. Alex is currently making me breakfast. We didn't really plan breakfast properly, so um, I wish I had more mushrooms, because I really want like mushrooms on toast. There's a couple mushrooms, and we've got some of the this bacon and avocado, so I'm gonna have that for breakfast, and then we're gonna go out. But, um, yeah, it's weird to be 29, but I'm also kind of weirdly, I had a pang of the feeling this morning that like, oh, I really wish I was young again so I could just start it all again because 2020 has been so weird and stressful and a bit like, I don't know, it's been, for me at least, it's made me feel very much like, oh, I'm an adult now and I have to deal with the realities and the harshness of the world and the scary things that can happen in it. I just want to be young again and, and everything to be okay. But also like, I'm glad that I've been through it and that, I'm gonna hopefully go into my 30s having learnt a lot and having been through a lot and I know that whenever you go through difficult times it always leads to better times and that's so cheesy but it's very true <laughs> because last year was so difficult for me and this year I feel generally better. I have been ill this week. <sighs> I'll go into that in another video. <laughs> I'm more hopeful for this year and I'm more hopeful for this year of my life and for my 30s. I'm not 30 yet so I'm not gonna jump ahead but yeah but I'm gonna share with you all the yummy vegan food that we get to eat today um but I'm pretty sure I want a vegan KFC for lunch because they discontinued it during the pandemic and I've only ever had it once and I just don't eat fast food ever or go to like takeaway place or like you know drive throughs ever so I thought it'd be a fun birthday treat let's do a little mini haul of some of the things that I've got so Alex he pulled out the bag. He got me a multi-fuel pizza oven for my birthday. How cool is this? So you can use wood for it. And um, oh, I'm just so excited. And he got all the accessories, like the big thing to use to cook the pizzas with and all the thermometers. And oh, I'm so excited to have pizza parties. Like this is like the best. I don't want a handbag. I don't want clothes. I want cooking accessories <laughs> for my birthdays and Christmas. And then Alex's parents so kindly got me the Stella perfume. Uh, I actually haven't had like a designer brand perfume since being vegan. I've obviously got loads of um, perfumes from Floral Street and Eden perfumes, but they're like perfume brands, but I've not had one because all the designers um, are not cruelty free. So that's so cute and so lovely and exciting. It smells amazing. And then funnily enough, this wasn't actually a birthday present, but it arrived just in time for my birthday. The liquid gold tahini from Healthy Crazy Cool, Miles. Um, this is his company and he's come up with this tahini and oh my gosh, look how it's runny. Can you see inside? I am so excited, like it is liquid. Oh, and he sent me two massive tubs. Thank you so much, Miles. Cannot wait to try that. But yeah, that's some of the bits I've got for my birthday. Obviously this birthday is in lockdown, so it's a bit different. I can't really spend it with my family, my friends as usual, but um, I'm gonna go for a walk with my dad later because you are allowed to go for a walk, exercise outside with people. I'm kind of trying not dwell on the fact that it's lockdown birthday and just try and enjoy the fact that it's lockdown birthday because we can um, just make it a different birthday and enjoyable in other ways because sometimes when you have birthdays with loads of people it can be like oh expectations so let's just do a chilled one and have the day off but yeah i will show you my breakfast when alex delivers it to me <laughs> oh hello i haven't got my face on oh wow that is big breakfast any sauces i forgot ketchup or sriracha sriracha brown brown sauce Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you haven't tried the um, this 
isn't bacon or this isn't chicken brand you have to this is the this isn't bacon mm. it's so good like my non-vegan friends are like wowed by it so delicious that was 10 out of 10 so good i have crust all over my lips so pleased that there's a new season of married at first sight and there's a new episode that I can watch today. They knew it was my birthday. <laughs> How adorable does Roxy look with her brand new Mabel and Merrin lead? This is someone local to us. And we had one that was lilac. But what did you do to that one, Roxy? What did you do to it? She oh, chewed it. I ate it all up. <laughs> She was very hyper one day and she just started chewing it and I wasn't looking and next thing I know one of these um, rope bits had come loose and we'd had that for like... chewing at it for yes. a long time. Yes, we had had that since we got Roxy so we'd had it... No, 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 she, she's doing it. We'd had it for a year. Um, so it lasted, it's just it's Roxy is a bit of a naughty girl but I'm really happy with this pink one because it matches her harness. Isn't it cute? Anyone recommend some harness brands that look really pretty? This is a great like um, sort of sturdy one for like, you know, proper walks. It's rough wear, but I want some like pretty ones and I did order some, but um, they were so small on her, even though I measured. It was like they were designed for um, a pug or a really small dog. And I was a bit confused because I'd measured them, so I had to send them all back. But yeah, if anyone has any good recommendations for like local or smaller brands. But yeah, we're gonna walk her now. I'll leave a link to Mabel and Marin below. They've got an Etsy and they do the different colors, which is so cute. And they do different thicknesses and sizes and it's made from hemp. So it's a really like sustainable, lovely, lovely, sturdy lead. Oh, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I've got this Organic Basics jumper in recycled wool, Finisterre dungarees, Finisterre coat. I'm not sponsored by Finisterre, I promise. It's just very practical. <laughs> and then I've got Doc Martens that are covered in mud and most of my makeup is bare minerals and then um, before we leave I'm going to take some my vegan protein water this is their clear vegan protein in black currants got 11 grams of protein per serving got loads of really exciting product launches coming up this for January which I'm looking forward to including this and you'll have to stay tuned to find out what the other things are and um, yeah I love this stuff because it's got loads of your vitamins for the day, so you have to worry about taking um, loads of different stuff, because it's got like B vitamins in here, obviously got your protein, it has, let me find out, it has B vitamin blend, it's got B6, B2, B1, B12, um, so that's awesome, so you get loads of vitamins all in one go, and then you just fill it up with water, And then give it a good old shake. Alex has become so hooked on these like I have because I introduced them to him and now he has them every day. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> the lid wasn't closed. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I got that on camera. Yeah, I just spilled it all over the floor. Whoopsie. Yeah, we'll take this with us um, on the walk because it's a bit tastier than water, basically. I just think, like, what, what better than something that tastes better than water and it's got vitamins in it and it's got protein? It's just genius because I found myself not taking normal protein powders often because you have to have it, like, in a smoothie or, like, make it taste, sort of, have some kind of flavour to it. And I just think this is so much nicer in water. I just love it. Ooh, let me try. I got so paranoid about the fact that it spilled that I closed it really solidly. Oh, it tastes like sweets. I love it. Um, if you want a discount code for the January, I have 42% off. It's usually 35% off, but they've given me an extra discount. If you use my link below, you have to use my link to support me if you want to you know, support this channel, then use my link and use the code Madeline and you get 42% off and there's loads of amazing things on the site. Obviously, I'm an ambassador for my vegan. You've seen me talk about them before. I use all of their vitamins. So if you're looking for some B12, iron, that kind of thing, Amigas, they have vitamins on the site. They've got their protein powders, got loads of lovely energy bars and snacks. 
but definitely check out the clear vegan protein and stay tuned and have a look on the website for like the new products that are coming so this is kind of like what i eat in a day because it's kind of food but it's liquid form you know <laughs> Taking me to where? I don't know. We're at Chapel Pools Beach here. Yeah? It's very stormy. Yeah. Um, so the waves. So misty as well, it's cool. Yes, yeah, so the waves are quite big, and um, driving down, you can see all the rubble has fallen because yeah. of the storm. Um, but look how steep all these cliff edges are. So we're gonna walk up the hill and I went here with my dad and sister for Father's Day in 2019. Uh, I didn't realize that. Oh, but I love it. Yeah. I this picked way. somewhere I thought I'd never, I think I'd come here before once as well. It's lovely. We ended up here on a walk. You get to go and see the mines, so we'll show you the Cornish mines. Proper pole dark stuff, this. <laughs> <laughs> you away. Hi. Look how blue the sea is. Look, it's an upside down smiley face. It's like screaming. Ah! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. No. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday <laughs> to me. Look at the sea, it's so blue! Roxy is, literally just wants to jump off the edge of the cliff the whole time. Hello! <sighs> Look at that! <laughs> Being very patient, Roxy, well done! Well done, Rosy! Oh, <laughs> she broke! <laughs> Good girl! <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, Svenja! Go on, hold her up. <laughs> are you a little Simba? Look out, James Bond. <laughs> I fooled you. What are you doing? Rosie, where's Daddy? Go get Daddy! She's like, I ain't traversing across that. What are you doing? You're playing with fire!
cacau. We just picked up our KFC burger because I brought it back. They were the loveliest people ever. I don't ever do drive throughs but they were so nice, weren't they? Mm. So we've got chips. What? Chips? What? Large chips are these. Do they not give us large chips? What is it? Do they have a receipt? Large Look chips. at the receipt. Maybe we didn't order large. Alex likes to complain about everything. I mean, that they're ever not happened. large chips. No, but you do. <laughs> he always complains. I'm not going. I can't be asked for the right. sake of a handful of chips. Let's. Ah. If any of you haven't had this burger, I've had it twice. Um, once in the drive-through, and I think once you and Tom went and got it, didn't you? Oh yeah, last year I think February the first. I think they were getting rid of all their. Veganuary burgers and they sold them all half price so we got either six or eight for the four of us I think they're delicious the only thing is I don't think they put enough like mayonnaise in it or whatever the sauce is in there because it's a bit dry but look at that looks pretty good oh <gasps> did you just give her a chip I want it oh there we go <laughs> right right I'm gonna put I'm gonna eat it on its own and then I'll have some ketchup I mean, I swear, every time I ever like try and film in a public space or in a car, someone always pulls up right next to me. Yeah. Okay, they're not looking. But I just think they've really smashed it. And part of the reason it's so good is because the reason people love um, KFC burgers or KFC oh. chicken is because of the seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's all the pepper, isn't it? I think the, the last time, Obviously, because when you're vegan, you can't really go to fast food restaurants as much. Hmm. But also, before being vegan, I didn't that much. I, but I did, the one I did used to like when I was a teenager was KFC, but I didn't like McDonald's and I didn't really like Burger King. The last time we went was probably in Dundee. Because mm. you had to make a, an actual effort if you wanted fast food. Where we went to uni, you had to get a bus, like a 20, 30 minute bus ride to the nearest, well, it's longer than that, yeah, 30 minutes to Dundee because mm. that was the place that had McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. I don't rate these chips. No, I quite like them. They taste soggy. I don't know how people do this in their cars, like eat this food, I find it so difficult. Paper straws though, not bad. Yeah, this is more papery than it used to be. Definitely. Oh no, I drank too fast. Alex has this thing where any, <laughs> whenever, <laughs> Ah, see, this is what I just said. What I find doing? it. I just find it so difficult in cars. Cause how do you eat? You eat like this. I've just. <laughs> right, I'll have your chips, thank you. Why? Do you not want them? Yes, I do. Alex has this thing. Whenever he drinks a fizzy drink, he hiccups. Mm. It's so cute. I hope our children do that. <laughs> Why? Because it's so cute. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> I feel like the chips though, they have tried to make them more authentic because they feel like they're more like, they've got skin on them and they're mm. a bit thicker. I, they're better than they I They taste more like fish and chip shop mm. chips. It's all that popcorn chicken goodness that's coated on them. Oh, by the way, if you're vegan, the chips are cooked in the same fryer as um, non-vegan things. So if that bothers you, just a heads up. But they are very clear. They were actually really amazing. They were like, I was going to order a Diet Pepsi and she said it wasn't vegan because the colouring in Diet Pepsi apparently isn't vegan. And then they gave us a menu which had all the details yeah. of the diet, dietary um, restrictions allergens. and allergens. Mm. And they told us about the chips being fried in the same air fryer so they were really clear when we made our order which is nice. Mm. But I personally don't have a problem with that and neither does Alex. I don't think the chips are fried in an air fryer. Oh, what did I say? Air fryer. Mm. No idea why I said that. I want an air fryer. I don't because it's just a small oven. Yeah. What is the point of an air fryer? Sometimes fry? I don't want to heat the whole oven up to cook a couple of things. It's literally just an, a small oven. If I want to cook my little um, Linda McCartney Use the oven? chicken things, then you have to heat the whole oven up. Think how much energy that wastes. I thought I you cared about the environment. 
Think how much space it takes up to have an air fryer as well as an oven, as well as everything else you have in the kitchen. Like this big. Okay. We're also getting a soup maker. You're going to start a fight in the comments. Yeah. There's going to be so many people saying, my air fryer is amazing, and then other people saying, yeah, I agree with that. Everyone who has one seems to like them. Yeah, true. Think of all the things you could eat. Seems like a bit more of an American thing, though. I don't know why. Mm. I've not seen any UK people have them, just Americans. Oh. We've we're got get... a beautiful view right now. <laughs> just a road. We're getting a soup maker, right? No, never. We're going to get a Thermomix. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my I yummy forgot. burger. I forgot which drink is mine. It doesn't matter, does it? No. Okay. And then, um, I'll catch you for dinner. We just got home. It's a few hours later. What a wonderful day. Spending all day outside just on the coast, it was beautiful. Hope you enjoyed seeing some more of Cornwall. But I've just come home, we were just, just discussing what to have for dinner and we were like, don't really wanna get a takeaway because nothing really piques my fancy after having a burger at lunch. Had pizza last night, don't really want a Thai because I don't really rate the Thai places around here. Don't really want Indian. But guess what showed up at my door? This incredible grazing platter from Botanics. So, um, I work with Botanics a lot and they've sent me this as a as a gift and it's so kind. And it's from Field to Fork and they've got a vegan grazing platter. And look at this, it's got like hummus and it's like falafel and grapes and cheese and crackers. So I think we're just gonna have this for dinner. What do you think? Yeah. And we've got like bits in the fridge and we can like all lay it out and make it lovely. I'm very excited for this. So I'm gonna try and get some chopping boards and like lay it out and Saves us having to cook, so we're talking about maybe making mac and cheese, but look at this. This looks wonderful. So thank you so much, Sophie and Botanics and Field to Fork. Oh yes, we've got that cheese board thing um, with locally sourced produce. So excited for this. And the animals are meowing and annoying us because they want to be fed as well. Wow, what a treat. So <laughs> we've used the pizza oven as a table because we don't have a coffee table. And um, I've laid it out with some extras. Oh, the lighting's not great. Um, I just put some extra crisp bread and then I also added the Greek style Vio Life slice and the pot of hummus we have in the fridge because we've already opened it. So look at this, it's got like, it's got like sausage rolls and all these like falafels and just, oh my gosh. What are these mystery things? It's like a, a vegan chicken or something. And they've got sundry oh, yeah. tomatoes. Mm. It looks so delicious. And Alex just put the fire on. And now we're gonna watch Little Women on Sky. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is the dream. I reckon, I really hope that this is Vi Life Epic Mature or similar. <laughs> Can I try it? I was looking for that knife. <laughs> I'm gonna, it, the only thing is, I've, I've tried to lay it out how they had laid it out. The only thing is when you do, now I've done that, um, it's harder to use. So let me try this cheese. Do I light on? Yeah, it's epic mature. Oh, nice. Which is like my favorite vegan cheese. And I think this one, yeah, you can see it at the end, it's got the orange bit. This one's apple wood. Wow, this has made me so happy. Wow, I'm so, so happy right now. Right, perfect setup. And I've got my non-alcoholic beverage because I'm doing dry January. So what's this? Uh, it's Belvoir sparkling apple. There you go. Tastes delicious. Oh, I'll show you something exciting that I got from my mum. We went round to pick up something, obviously COVID safe. She just gave me um, a birthday present and um, we sort of said hello <laughs> outside at a distance and then came back home. Um, so I'll show you that after dinner. Is this another cake? Happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh. Where did you get this from? Does it say happy birthday Maddie on it? Yeah. Oh, there was, how many candles are there? 30, because you're 30. Are there 30? No. 29? Yeah. The steam, the smoke. Could you feel did, the heat from them? Did you get this made by somebody? No. Or did you just do that yourself? I did it myself. Oh my. <laughs> Happy, spelt with two E's, birthday. I'll just show you. So, did you get this one from like Tesco? Yeah. We're going to have to eat my mum's ones first. Yeah, I, I know. Because but... that's homemade and it'll be better. <laughs> but this is very cute. Thank you. Enjoy taking all the candles off. 
I want to show what you've written on top. It's quite good. Very, very good spelling. Yeah. Do you know what film it's from? I don't know. Come on. I can't just say come on until I say it. I don't know. <laughs> In which film does he get a big cake at the start? I don't know. What? Which one? Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> That's how he spells it in the movie. Oh. So this is your Harry Potter reference. Yeah, I'm quite okay. disappointed you get, in you. Can I please have a slice of my mum's cake first? Yes. Thank you. So the birthday girl gets a dog, a cat, and another cat to share the sofa with. Like, how cute. This is the new routine. These two cats, Zeus and Frankie, sit up on the sofa tops. And then Roxy sits here. So cute. Got the whole family. Little Zuzi. Little Frankie. Fast asleep enjoying the fire. Oh! <laughs> Is that enough? I said a little bit! No, I said a little bit of whipped cream! <laughs> oh my goodness me. Look how cute. My mum made a vegan cake and as you, you can kind of see, can you see? It's got like gold, um, she must have sprayed it with some kind of gold stuff. But yeah, um, on the way home, we stopped by and picked it up because the, ha the house, the new house is on the way home. So I get to have a birthday cake. Yay. Look at it. Let's try it. And then I'll say goodbye to you and we need to finish Little Women because it's actually a two hour movie didn't realise. I'm getting tired. I'm an old lady now. Oh, I know you're watching, mother. Really, really yummy. Mm. Oh my goodness. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of this slice of cake. I really hope you enjoyed following along for my birthday. I don't think I've ever vlogged my birthday before. Or if I have, I just don't remember it. <laughs> Alex has just come in with his... Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> what have you done? I've silly stringed it. Yeah, I don't remember ever filming my birthday, but it has been fun and I get to look back and remember this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and check out the link to my vegan down below for the discount. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>